Good morning, everybody. I have with me very different content. This is the Puritan Bennett 980. Actually, no, it's the 840. Sorry, I lied. It's the 840. This is the PB840 ventilator system with the compressor, which is an optional accessory. This thing was probably made sometime between the late 90s all the way up until probably between 2011 and 2015, I want to say. Um, a long run for this ventilator. Um, and, um, but it's very advanced for what it is. The latest model, which is the 980, is not owned by Nelcor anymore or their parent company, Malincrot, I think is how it's pronounced, which is Ireland based. Um, it's by Covidian. And they still make filters for this thing because a lot of hospitals still use this vent. You can see the Covidian, or it, which I think is owned by Medtronic. Um, but this is a very neat ventilator. This can be used invasively, non-invasively on all um, age populations. And um, because it has the compressor on it, you don't have to connect it to the wall. Um, most ventilators today are pneumatic powered, so they have to be connected to a gas source. They won't generate their own um, pressures and flows. If it wasn't connected to something and you tried to use it, it wouldn't do anything except for alarm because it doesn't have anything to work with to be able to deliver breaths. This one, because it has the compressor on the bottom, you can. You are able to use it. Um, it will alarm still because there's no oxygen pressure coming through. I did disable, which is just a setting option. I disabled the O2 cell in it or the O2 sensor, which constantly monitors what percentage of oxygen is going through the vent, but um, it will run because of the compressor. Otherwise, it would look just like this. And if you've ever watched Grey's Anatomy, you've probably seen this exact ventilator on Grey's Anatomy. Even their more current episodes, they still use this one. And I have been to hospitals that still use this ventilator because they're great vents. Some hospitals are small and they have these. They've had them for a long time, but they're a Band-Aid station. So even if somebody gets placed on one of these which as you can see, this one isn't even set up to be used. Um, it is fully functional, but it's not even set up to be used. But um, this thing would be um, perfectly fine, perfectly fine. I actually work um, at a hospital that is a Band-Aid station basically, and they have these ancient vents there, ancient, but because it's a Band-Aid station, these keep track of how many hours they've been used. They, um, those vents will last for years because they aren't used. It's almost like having an old car in a garage with like 5,000 miles on it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no need to replace them because they've got no use on them. Now, I, I'm sure this one's been used a decent amount, but it's in excellent condition. Um, the there's three main parts to it the the GUI they like to call it or the GUI the graphic user interface this is where all of your um spontaneous and set parameters would be displayed your flow waveforms your pressure waveforms your volume waveforms all of your readings um any information that you want to know about the ventilator or about what the vent is attached to um that's where you would go some main keys, locking it, muting the ventilator, increasing the O2 for a certain period of time um, to give somebody a boost or something, a boost, manual inspiration, expiratory pause, inspiratory pause. You can change parameters with a little spinner wheel over there. Um, that is the GUI, the screen, the monitor, whatever you'd like to call it. This in here is the actual powerhouse of the vent. That is the ventilator itself. Um, you can actually detach the screen. It's only mounted to the base. You can see, um, or the, it's mounted to the stand. The screen is mounted the, to the stand and it's connected by a pigtail cord on the side of the ventilator. Um, 
but this is where your inspiration, your um, breath going to and from would come back to the ventilator on this side. That's a heated um, expiratory filter that's viral, antiviral, or it's a viral and bacterial filter. Um, and it's single use. So once it's used, it needs to be taken off and thrown away. Um, power switch. There's a plug here to be able to plug in a heater if you're using a heated circuit. Um, obviously the stand, I'm not going to count because it doesn't actually do anything. And really these two things here is what most of these look like. Most of these Puritan Bennett 840s. An additional piece is this compressor here on the bottom, which, as I said, it allows it to be used in an area that doesn't have pressurized air because medical air is actually more expensive than medical oxygen. And a lot of older facilities do not have medical air in the wall. So when they made these available, they made a compressor. And that was an optional accessory. Not everybody needed them, so not all of these had them. And honestly, the majority of them don't have them. But it does add a lot of weight <laughs> to the ventilator. Um, the one thing, though, that I really like about this compared to some of my other favorite vents like the Servo I is the Servo I also, you can do an optional compressor with it. However the compressor has to be plugged in separately. It has its own cord that plugs into the wall, which you have to plug into a red outlet in order for it to run if the power went out. Um, also, if you were to plug the heater on a servo eye, <clears throat> it would have to be plugged into the wall separately, and the ventilator itself would also have to be plugged into the wall separately. On this vent, if you were running a heater, the heater would sit here on this holder and it would plug right into this outlet. The compressor has a little pigtail cord, which is right there, and it plugs right into the side of the ventilator, meaning that you only have to plug in this cord here to the wall and everything else will be powered. Really nice, really convenient. You're going from three cords to one with this one. I really like that. Not that I'm going to be using the heater um, because I don't need to. Um, this is just for education. Um, but I am super um, thrilled because I really like this ventilator. It's super nice. Um, it's got quite a few features. And honestly, these are a really popular vent too that um, many facilities did end up purchasing and they still have today. So more videos to come. Thanks for watching.